we said stick to it, make sure we make every run hard for them to get. They did that. I thought George Garton ran in really well at the, at the end there as well. So he got a bit of a reverse swing and he looked very dangerous. So um, we're not in a great position in the game, but we're going to have to fight and we'll make sure that we do fight. Yeah, it looks like it's still a, a good batting track and you've got to get it right with the ball. You've got to be accurate to, uh, on, on a right, uh, tight line and length. It does. I mean, it looks like it's sort of the first session and a half looked pretty hard work. There's a bit of moisture in the surface. Uh, we almost got through it, but didn't quite. And it has, you know, it's, 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 it looks like a pretty decent pitch, but still, you know, you, you know, there'll be a little bit of scoreboard pressure going down there. So we're going to have to bat well and we're going to have to bat tough in the second innings. The weather looks a bit better for the next mm. couple of days. So it's so still possible to save the match with, with a better batting performance. Definitely, definitely. And that's the intention. You know, we'll give it a crack. We'll make sure that we, we bat long and make them work for every wicket they get. Uh, and impressive stuff from the young George Garton, as you, as you said, he kept steaming in and, and that ball uh, nailed his Yorker to get Mark Cosgrove. <laughs> he did actually, bother him a couple before, that he, he dug out and played quite well and then eventually got through. So very encouraging to see a young lad at that age running in and bowling quick. So it's, um, it's always good to see a quick bowler, but a young man like that crossing a line like he did, I thought it was really encouraging. Our bowlers did well, they did, um, did what we asked of them, they ran in and made it hard work for the batters. Who once again, Leicester Bass fought their corner well and um, it's, it's, it's a game that we're going to have to fight to, to get some points out of. Yeah, and I suppose you're in this position because of the batting on the first day rather Absolutely. than the bowling. Yeah. I think if you get knocked over on the first day, you get knocked over at tea time on the first day for 160 in a four day game on a decent pitch, I think you're under, you know, you're under the pump, you're under pressure. So um, we'll make sure that we, we come back fighting because that's what we'll do um, and, and make it really difficult for them to get Ten wickets in the second innings. Mm. Obviously, with <coughs> weather like this, it's obviously hard when you you know you're behind the game anyway to, to keep to keep going. Yeah, it? yeah. Is that hard to motivate them out there? Well, not really. No, we've got a squad that are very um, have bought in really well, and they and they they're up for the they're up for the challenge. Obviously, I mean they they they're professional sportsmen, so they should be up for the challenge, and they are. So, getting them up for the game today was was not difficult at all, and they committed to it, and they you know they gave it the all. See, North Hans was what it was. We didn't get an opportunity to get some batting points. Then we uh, had a really good game here against Essex, which we had a chance of winning, um, and then ended in a draw, obviously. And, and this game's been frustrating. So not the easiest, but um, you know, you got to hang in there. It's life. Keep it in perspective and, and make sure that we, we keep fighting. Yeah. And I, and I suppose turning things around and getting your sort of the way you want the team to play, it'll yeah. take a little time, won't it? It, it won't will just be, come course. straight away. No, no, absolutely right. And, and as you say, we. We're missing two of our best players, which, which is always a challenge in a small squad and a small uh, county like we are. But um, it's good that we give other people opportunity and, and, and somebody like George Garton is testament to that. You know, if CJ had been back, he might not have played these games. So it's good to get a young man in and give him some experience.